The German army demonstrated exceptional innovation and technological development, designing and implementing some of the most advanced weapons and technologies of the time. A notable example is the Messerschmitt Mi-262, the world's first operational jet fighter. Developed under the supervision of Willy Messerschmitt, this aircraft reached speeds of over 540 miles per hour, making it significantly faster than any Allied plane. Despite facing challenges such as political interference and production delays, the Mi-262 showcased the German Army's commitment to technological advancement. Another revolutionary technology developed by the Germans was the V-2 rocket, the world's first operational ballistic missile with a range of over 200 miles. Designed in response to Hitler's desire for a retaliatory weapon against Allied bombing campaigns, the V-2 rocket caused significant damage and loss of life. Despite its impact, the V-2 program faced issues such as high production costs and low accuracy. Nevertheless, it marked a significant advancement in missile technology and paved the way for future developments in rocketry. Revolutionizing War – The Technological Advantage of the German Army in World War II German engineers during World War II developed cutting-edge radar technology, such as the Burstberg radar and the Mammut radar, which played a crucial role in detecting and tracking enemy aircraft. They also made significant progress in infrared technology, producing night vision sights like the Gerate 1229 Vampir for the Sturmgewehr 44 assault rifle, allowing German infantry to effectively engage targets in low-light conditions. The Germans also pioneered guided bombs such as the Fritz X, which was used to sink the Italian battleship Roma in 1943. Furthermore, their tank industry produced advanced tanks like the Tiger I and the II, and the Panther, with thick, angled armor and powerful cannons that outmatched many of their Allied counterparts. German engineers also designed the world's first operational assault gun, the Sturmgeschütz III, which started as an infantry support vehicle but evolved into an effective tank destroyer. Their innovations extended beyond weaponry and technology to include new tactics and strategies that maximized the capabilities of their advanced equipment. Overall, the German army displayed a forward-looking approach to weapon development that would have a lasting impact on guided munitions in the post-war era. Titans of Iron – The Evolution and Impact of German Panzer Tanks in World War II The history of German Panzer Tanks begins in the 1930s with two iconic tanks, the Tiger and the Panther, known for their impressive firepower, armor, and battlefield impact. Despite their strengths, these tanks faced limitations such as mobility and logistical challenges. The German army also employed deceptive tactics, disguising tanks as American M10 tank destroyers during the Battle of the Bulge to sow confusion among Allied forces. However, the production of these advanced tanks couldn't match that of the Soviet and American tank industries due to resource shortages and bombing campaigns. Nevertheless, the legacy of the German tank warfare persisted and influenced post-war tank designs worldwide, emphasizing the balance between firepower, armor, and mobility. Additionally, the video examines the revolutionary strategy known as Blitzkrieg, which prioritized speed, surprise, and concentrated mechanized forces to deliver devastating blows to the enemy. This strategy reshaped the face of warfare and was a defining aspect of German military tactics in the early stages of World War II. Unleashed Lightning, the birth and execution of the Blitzkrieg strategy in World War II. The Blitzkrieg strategy, translating to lightning war, was utilized by the German forces during World War II. The strategy relied on the coordination of tanks, infantry, artillery, and air support to rapidly penetrate enemy lines and encircle their forces, as demonstrated in the invasions of Poland and France. The success of Blitzkrieg astonished the world and established the German army as an apparently unstoppable force. However, the limitations of this strategy became evident as the war progressed, with logistical challenges and harsh weather conditions in the Soviet Union putting pressure on the mobility of the German army. 
Additionally, as the Allies adapted to Blitzkrieg tactics and developed countermeasures, replicating the early victories became increasingly challenging for the German army. The German army also relied on the Waffen-SS, the military branch of the Nazi SS, and their achievements on the battlefield, tainted by war crimes and their involvement in the Holocaust. The Dark Vanguard, the Waffen-SS, and their role in the German war effort. The Waffen-SS was a division of the German army known for their tenacity and skill in battle. They recaptured strategic cities and fought with exceptional ferocity, as seen during the Battle of the Bulge. However, the reputation of the Waffen-SS was tarnished by atrocities committed by its members, such as the massacre of Canadian prisoners of war. When the Third Reich collapsed, surviving members faced accountability for their war crimes, the Waffen-SS serves as a powerful warning about the dangers of blind loyalty and military fanaticism. The Germans also had another weapon, the silent predators of the depths. German submarines, particularly the Type 7, posed a significant threat to Allied convoys, and skilled submariners like Otto Kretschmer and Gunter Prien earned admiration and fear. Silent predators of the depths. The U-boat campaign and the battle for the Atlantic to Germany was characterized by advancements in technology and tactics introduced by the Allies to counter the threat posed by German submarines during World War II. The Allies implemented new technologies such as radar, high-frequency direction finding, and aircraft equipped with radar and depth charges, giving them an advantage in the Battle of the Atlantic. As losses mounted, German submarines faced desperate adversities, as three out of four submariners never returned from their perilous missions. The Germans introduced the revolutionary Type 21 electroboat submarine, which had an advanced hydrodynamic design, an efficient snorkel system, and increased underwater speed. But it arrived too late to change the course of the war. Finally, as the Third Reich collapsed under the relentless assault of the Allies, surviving submarines were sunk or surrendered, marking the end of the feared submarine fleet. Rising Eagles – The Tactical Innovations of the Luftwaffe and Air Supremacy The tactical innovations of the Luftwaffe extended beyond aircraft themselves and included a sophisticated approach to command and control. German pilots were given a high degree of autonomy during battle, allowing them to quickly adapt to changing circumstances and take the initiative. This agile command structure, along with the superior performance of their planes, gave the Luftwaffe a significant advantage in the early years of the war. However, as the tide turned against the Third Reich, the Luftwaffe increasingly found itself outmatched by the large industrial capacity and rapidly advancing technology of the Allies. Despite the introduction of advanced aircraft like the Messerschmitt Me 262, the Luftwaffe couldn't halt the tide of the Allied air campaign that devastated German cities and paralyzed its war machine. The Enigmatic War, Cryptic Battles and the Secrets of the Enigma Machine. In the shadowy world of espionage, the ability to communicate securely can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The German army relied on the Enigma machine to encode their messages. The Enigma machine, with its complex system of rotors and plug boards, encoded messages to make them unreadable without decryption keys. However, the German army didn't know that the Allies had already begun deciphering Enigma messages before the war. Polish cryptanalysts shared their findings with the British, and a team led by Alan Turing at Bletchley Park successfully broke the Enigma code. This breakthrough, known as Ultra, provided the Allies with invaluable intelligence, allowing them to anticipate and thwart German plans. Deciphering Enigma messages is believed to have shortened the war by several years and saved countless lives. Additionally, the video mentions the exceptional leadership and training of the German army, with figures like Erwin Rommel and James Guthrie recognized for their military prowess. The German army, known as the Wehrmacht, was a formidable force that challenged the Allied nations and left a significant mark on history. Masters of the battlefield, leaders and the steadfast discipline of the German army. The German army of World War II was known for exceptional leadership 
and the impressive discipline of its men. Among them, the leadership and training of figures like Rommel and Guderian stood out, admired for their tactical brilliance and deep understanding of warfare. German soldiers were known for their discipline, physical and mental conditioning, and loyalty. The army emphasized continuous improvement and adaptation, studying historical lessons and applying them to their profession. However, despite their strengths, the German army ultimately faced strategic errors, overextension and resistance from their opponents, particularly the Soviet Union. The invasion of the Soviet Union, known as Operation Barbarossa, proved to be a significant mistake, leading to logistical challenges and depleting their resources. Examining the limitations and reasons for the eventual defeat of the German army can provide valuable insights into the nature of war and the lessons that can be learned from their strategies. The Fallen Titan, Limitations, Defeats, and the Lessons of the German Army. The German army faced a series of harsh challenges during World War II, particularly on the Eastern Front. Shortages of essential supplies such as fuel and ammunition hindered their offensives towards Moscow and Stalingrad. Additionally, the Allies' bombing campaign against Germany's industrial region paralyzed its ability to wage war. The combined industrial, economic and military capabilities of the United States, the Soviet Union and the United Kingdom proved to be formidable opponents and ultimately overwhelmed the German war machine. Key lessons to be learned from the limitations of the German army and its eventual defeat include the dangers of arrogance, the importance of adaptability, forging strong alliances, maintaining a robust and adaptable logistical infrastructure, the crucial role of morale and determination in the face of adversity, and the power of the human spirit to resist tyranny.